What's up y'all? I'm starting a breakdown series on my game day graphics from last year. So without further ado, let's get right into the first one. This is the graphic I made for the game against Troy. I actually took this photo of Thomas Hennigan and I really wanted to use it because it just looked cool to me, but it was kind of tough to use because his foot and hand were cut off and his legs cut off pretty high up. So I had to kind of make it work and I'll show you how I did that. So I have this uh, texture in the background, that same topographical texture that we've been using. And then I just put some effects on it in an inner shadow and a gradient overlay. Makes it look just a little more interesting. I added some shading in for what I'm about to lay over top of his body and then I had a camera raw filter on the photo as well as an unsharp mask and you can see just how crispy that makes him look and then I cut him out and then I used an inner shadow and a drop shadow the inner shadow is a light hitting him from this side the top right and then the drop shadow is just going behind him and then added in an exposure layer and just painted in a uh, some more shading so that these two bars would kind of look like they're um, in front of his foot. And then this doesn't make any sense because his hand is further away than his foot is, but his hand is outside of the box. But we won't talk about that because I think it looks cool anyway. So now I just added the game day text in and then this uh, gradient overlay to make it look a little more dynamic. And then we added in the info and the lighting and our color overlay and then the bottom info and that's it. So super simple graphic to start it out. 